All right, welcome back YouTube to another live stream and video recording for afterwards. Let's make sure that we're live quickly just so that we can be sure. Yep, looks like we're live. So let's get started. Um, all right, so in this live stream and video recording for afterwards, we're gonna be responding to uh, this guy, Wajahit Ali. Uh, and he's making the case for having kids. Uh, it is a TED Talks. Uh, TED Talks not having very much to talk about that is reasonable lately. Uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. Just point by point, rebut everything that he's saying. Here we go. Yeah, with the just the irony of this t of the uh, of the of the starter of this. I'm sorry, it's just gotta laugh at it, or else you'll lose your mind. I'm an exhaustive dad, currently owned and dominated by too many dictators who rule my life with an iron fist while wearing their Huggies diapers. Now, probably because I've been drowning in small people lately, I've been paying close attention to a particular headline. It seems around... Wait. So, we're 30 seconds in right now. I think that maybe 15 seconds in, because the thing was like... The intro was like 15 seconds. And he's already making huge contradictions. Like, no. You played God. Okay? Wajahit Ali... You play, or Allah, or whatever it is that you believe in, uh, with their lives by bringing them into existence. And they are the mini dictators? Hmm. No. Uh, you would be the dictator. Uh, you know, you are more than just their dictator. You're their god dictator, god emperor, you know. And they are quite literally your slaves. Uh, you know, they were brought into existence for the sole purpose of satisfying your selfish, selfishness and egomania, as we're about to find out, okay? So, because I, I already watched the whole video, but here we go. So you literally hold power over, just a review, okay? You literally hold power over every aspect, every single aspect of their lives, including their very existence in the first place, right? And you're calling them mini-dictators. It's like, it's, you can't be, can't, it can't be logical if it's going to be funny. Is that, is that what's happening here? I mean, it's, I don't understand. Like, what, is that what's, I, I disagree. I, I think that this is, uh, you know, it's in, well, first off, it's just sad as hell. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it, the ignorance and bias, stupidity of what we're about to listen to is just sad. And then after that, uh, you know, it happens to be extremely cruel. So it goes like bias, ig or ignorant, then biased, then cruel. You know, that's usually ha the order in which uh, the worst things happen. So uh, let's listen. On the world, in developed countries, people are having fewer babies. From North America to Europe to China to Japan, there's actually been a consistent decline in birth rates. In fact, over the past 50 years, the global fertility rate has halved. What the heck is going on? Now, my friends who don't want kids all... I don't see the problem. Uh, you know, there's plenty of... Uh... He's so he's gonna focus right. So he's gonna focus on like the environmental aspect and um, all this other stuff. And he doesn't have any argument there either. But I would argue those are weaker arguments for than the argument that I'm about to present. And the argument that I'm about to present is that life is fundamentally broken uh, unless you can name the well-being. Uh, right next to me, we have the colloquial question. Uh, you Can you name the well-being that is not derived from a pain, so sourced from a pain? Right? 
If you can't, then that means that you can have pains that lead to other pain, and you can't have, uh, you know, goods just by themselves. So you can have pain by itself, but you can't have good by itself. All of the goods are derived from the pains, right? So they're less bad. They're either less bad pain, uh, if they're a well-being or a good, or they're colossally more bad, okay? So uh, one example that people oftentimes use is the word love. Okay, love, a purely subjective word that means deep affection. That's the definition of the word. Uh, you know, uh, can it be more bad? Yes, definitely. You know, Jeffrey Dahmer had love for hacking people up into little pieces and feasting on their flesh. Uh, you know, uh, people have love for massacring animals and consuming their flesh and secretions out of pure ignorance and vanity uh, you know in the if for the vegans out there that are listening uh, they love that all right so is love a good thing by itself no obviously it's not a good thing by itself all right uh, so it's not the well-being that is not derived from a pain okay uh, so go down the list we can go down the list we can go to uh, joy and um, prosperity and success and wearing a suit and talking shit on TED Talks. Uh, you know, we could do whatever you want with this well-being thing, and it never amounts to something that is not derived directly from a pain, okay? So it's fundamentally broken unless you can name the well-being that isn't derived from a pain. So again, uh, I didn't see very many people, may, very many of you making the best argument, which is the argument that I just made in the comment section down below this video, which is really unproductive and just, you know, kind of lazy and stupid. So if you guys could just stop doing that, that would be great and maybe make some of the rational arguments down below, uh, you know, rather than, yeah, I mean, the other arguments are still strong, it's just that they're not the strongest nail in the coffin, you know, rational argument for not having children, right? Like not have it's it's broken, fundamentally broken. Hashtag name the well-being. Okay. I'll point to climate change as a reason for never having babies. And many of you are sitting there right now saying, watch, uh, there's also overpopulation. Uh, there's also uh, high birth rates, which still exist in many African and Middle Eastern countries. Uh Look, and all these things are pretty evident from what I can see, at least, but they're just not the most fundamental, rational uh, argument for the position, all right? There's also orphan kids who still need parents. Uh, there's also a lack of resources to go around for everyone. And oh, by the way, uh, we have a ginormous carbon footprint that is destroying this planet. I hear you. I hear you. And yet, despite all this chaos, I still think we should have babies. I believe we can and should fight for the Earth and humanity side by side. Right, so this isn't this is just, you're not ma making a particularly rational argument for why, even when responding to that, you're not making the most fundamental argument, which is, you know, against uh, you're not making an argument against the most fundamental argument, which is the argument that I have promoted and am making on this channel. Uh, so, uh, but you are making an argument, you're not even making a rational argument against what they're saying uh, about the whole, you know, environmental aspect of things. You're not providing a solution, uh, right? They're providing an actual solution. Don't have kids, they won't fly in planes. Don't have kids, they won't... Uh, drill for coal, don't have kids, they won't turn on their lights every day and uh, consume the energy from coal. Uh, they won't heat up the planet. They won't cause more of global warming to occur. Uh, you know, it's, it's a lazy argument ultimately for it compared to what I'm promoting. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it makes rational sense. I mean, you're going to make it, it's going to be preposterously worse by all standards, by all likelihood uh, of the data and everything, 
uh, you know, 99% of scientists agreeing that the Earth is warming up. I mean, I can't remember another instance in history where 99% of scientists have had rational data to go off of, like, the Earth is warming incrementally over time. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's, what the, that's what it says, right? Like, it, it, it's not the, and just for the ignorant people out there that don't understand, it's not like you can't see this on, like, a weather basis. Uh, it's very hard to understand it on a weather basis. It's, it's as a whole, the general temperature, so the average temperature has been rising over the last so many decades, okay, for the people that don't understand that stuff, okay? But again, again this is not the most fundamental, most reasonable, most rational argument to promote uh, for not having children. The argument that I promoted at the very beginning of this video, hashtag name the well-being, and I gave an example of one of the well-beings in the form of love that people give uh, is the most fundamental way to come at this and the most reasonable way as well because it is it's it's it highlights that it is broken 100 percent kaput uh all of existence for sentient life is broken now if i could take it personal for a second i get it i get why some of you might be skeptical about having babies all right here's a photo of my wife and me before we had kids young happy <laughs> fresh you look pretty much the same to me. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but uh, whatever. You know, sure, maybe inside you feel a little bit more dead because maybe you know you're you realize you created these little need machines that are incredibly uh, they have value, right? They feel pain and confusion and loss and uh, you know all the things that give somebody value. Uh, you know, to try to avoid those things gives them value. But, you know, you squandered all of that by just bringing them, you know, you squandered their value. You know, you threw it, both of them, into the trash. Uh, you know, the one even has stage four cancer, as we're about to uh, learn here in a moment. And you still can arrogantly give this speech. I mean, talk about doubling down on your egomania as in, like, and promoting it as an argument of some kind. So, I mean, ugh. Let's just listen to more of this, uh, you know, dictator, <laughs> uh, egomaniacal dictator, uh, sugarcoat more of his insane egomania. Okay. Here's a photo of me after having kids. A broken, defeated husk of a man. Here's a photo of the car I thought I'd be driving as an adult. A Porsche. Here's what I actually drive. A Honda. Right, so it just speaks the arguments that he's capable of making. Look at this. It's this grand stage for just his... It's all about him. It's all about his selfish fucking insanity. What type of car he could have drove if he didn't have children. Uh, you know, uh, he's the... He is the person that um, that's suffering because he made children he fleshed them into existence like literally brought their skin into existence to to die and he somehow is the victim he's just a selfish megalomaniacal fucking moron odyssey minivan <laughs> for the minivan where there was once hope now there is convenience you're fucking just, it's, you know, this is just pathetically, pathetically ignorant. In space and good mileage, good mileage. Now, I just want to stress that I'm completely aware of the very dire threats of global warming and climate change. I just want to acknowledge that you... Okay, like, so you're just... You're just paying lip service to their argument, and again, you're not even attacking the most valuable rational argument for this position. So, and you're not attacking their argument either. You're straw man and constantly you're just being like, you will look at me though. I can't drive a Porsche and I can't have, a, but I'm okay about that though because selfishness and stupidity and I'll sugarcoat the egomania that I have, you know, <laughs> with all this shit.
<laughs> You're a lip servicing uh, dimwit and an asshole. Choosing to have babies is a deeply, profoundly personal choice. And that many. It's a pers personal choice. <laughs> it, yeah, personal choice. Yeah. Every oh, personal choice. Everything's. Everything is a personal choice, right? Lit literally everything. I mean, you could, like. You know what else is a personal choice? I mean, if you want to come at this from the subjectivist point of view, right? Like, you know, uh, murder is a personal choice. Rape is a personal choice. Uh, child molestation is a personal choice. Does that make those things good? No, obviously not. So why then would you promote personal choice as a rational argument for your position? You don't hold logical consistency with any of those things. You're standing up on a TED Talk stage, so obviously you're not, you know, uh, catastrophic. Well, actually, you are. What am I saying? You brought, you fleshed people into existence. You, you brought them into existence. You killed them, literally. It's a 100% attrition rate if they come into existence. So actually, you are a murderer by all rational standards. Any who want to are unable. But just for today, let's examine the flip side of the coin at how not having enough new people is going to be a major problem moving forward. According to the World Health Organization... Yeah, not having enough people to exploit and, uh, you know, uh, caught, put into slavery and subject to an existence that is fundamentally broken is, you know, a really bad thing. Yeah, it sure is bad when you don't have all those people to, you know, just cause... Uh, um, to have needs that wouldn't even need to exist if they just didn't come into existence in the first place, right? Like, all of the problems would be prevented if you just never came into existence in the first place, unless you can name the well-being uh, that is not derived from a pain, as we talked about earlier, okay? And love, not the well-being, right? There can be more bad or less bad love, right? It's not a well-being that isn't derived from a pain. It's always a well-being that is derived from a pain. Uh, love is, is there as a deprivation or a, to fill in a state of, you know, addiction, of loneliness, of, um, uh, you know, it just means the word quite literally is the most subjective term you could possibly use. Uh, it just means deep affection for something, okay? So it's Jeffrey Dahmer had deep affection for hacking people up in little pieces. Uh, uh, you know, the average person has deep affection for massacring animals and causing an increased risk of all-cause mortality for themselves and for others by paying for that industry to happen, the animal agriculture industry, uh, you know. People can love flying in planes, and it causes probably the second uh, highest amount of environmental degradation next to what you're arguing for, which is having children. So, yeah, I mean, it doesn't make, love doesn't make something okay. It doesn't make something good. It doesn't make something reasonable just by itself. Uh, you know, and, and in the vast majority of instances, it just makes things catastrophically worse because it leads to the overestimation of the self, as we are observing here, uh, and uh, other forms of deluded megalomania, uh, etc. So let's listen to more of the sugar-coated megalomania. To average about 2.1 children per woman today, just so we have enough people to replace the previous generation. A lot of you thought... It's just all of the problems for these people that you're talking about as if it's a detriment that they didn't come into existence are prevented. So cancer is prevented for the being that doesn't come into existence in the first place. Uh, toiling with assholes like you, stupid assholes with suits on that get, a, get to moral grandstand and sugarcoat uh, all of their insane megalomania totally prevented. <laughs> You'd never have to do that if they weren't there. Uh, you know, uh, the, all of the problems of pain for the being that doesn't get born 
are prevented. So causing pain is bad if you're a sane person in the world today, and preventing pain is good if you're a sane person in the world today. So, yeah, but... Like, I mean, I guess there aren't that many of those. There's only 608 dislikes on this, 2,100 2, likes. Just go dislike it if you haven't already done that. And, and promote name the well-being underneath there. That's the most reasonable, rational argument for the position by far. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's probably circumstances where you could say, like, if the person just cares more about the environment or something, that that might be more reasonable because they aren't going to be able to listen or something like that. But not really. I mean, this is just such a simple, valid, decisive question to ask someone in its colloquial form uh, that uh, you could possibly imagine, right? Um, and I'd like to go back to his whole... Uh, uh, personal choice thing, right? We already addressed it from the subjectivist point of view. Uh, now we'll address it from like the objectivist or universalist point of view, okay? How could it possibly be that it is just your personal choice when it's the most impersonal thing? You're literally creating another person. Like it's it's the most not personal thing you could possibly do. It's the most invasive thing you could possibly do. You're subjecting someone to an existence that is fundamentally broken unless you can name the well-being that is not derived from a pain. And then you're saying, you know, then you're delusionally patting yourself on the back saying you did a great job. You subjected them to all of the pain. The confusion, the loss, the confusion that you're experiencing, the, the, the loss of, of themselves, the loss of loved ones, you subjected them to all of that. It's the most impersonal thing you could do. Overpopulation. But that's just from the, you know, if you're an objectivist and a subjectivist listening to this, you know, if you're a subjectivist, it's still fucking not logically consistent with anything that you do because it's, you know, you could say the same thing about people uh, it's their personal choice to child molest, or it's their ch personal choice to murder, or it's their personal choice to rape. It's, it's those things never. That doesn't make it okay. Okay, that doesn't make it good. That doesn't make it reasonable. All right. So why then would it make it reasonable for having children, especially in a world where it's one hundred percent broken, and you, you know, to its core. Population was going to be a problem in 100 years? Yeah. yeah, it might be underpopulation. So a question. No, it's not going to ever be underpopulation. It's impossible for that to be true unless you can name the well-being that is not derived from a pain. Uh, you know, so it has another, I mean, like, look, there's no possible way it's okay. Uh, it just isn't unless you can name the well-being that is not derived from a pain. What happens if that number dips below 2.1? There's going to be a domino effect. As all of us get older and live longer, there's going to be a shrinking younger population, which is going to lead to rising labor shortages in the world's biggest economies. I'm talking about the United States, China, Japan, Germany. <laughs> oh, geez. So what? You know, make more of the pain, make more of the children, so they will support the your retirement fund <laughs> and welfare uh, benefits when you know you you are uh, you have tubes hanging out of you when you're older. I mean that's just just such a fundamentally broken thing to to argue, even if you un didn't understand what's right next to me. And then when you do understand it, it's like you know even more fundamentally broken. But I mean obviously. Um, you know, uh, the world is leaning towards automation. It, things are going to become more and more and more automated as time goes on. Uh, you know, that's where all the jobs go overseas and everything. They go to automation. They don't go to other people anymore. That's like 
so 20 years ago or whatever. They go to automation. You know, for example, the United States has the most powerful uh, producing and uh, production that it's ever had in the history of its existence on this planet. And yet uh, we also have the highest rate, one of the highest rates of unemployment of any uh, country on the earth that's ever existed, uh, any, any first world country at least, okay? Uh, it's because of automation that that is happening. It has nothing to do with sourcing jobs overseas. The science says that it's automation. You know, the research says that it's automation. Uh, check out uh, Yang, what, what the hell is that guy's name, the douchebag that's running for president? You know, I don't particularly like the guy, but I mean, he's probably like the best option. Andrew Yang or whatever, he has a lot of research, you know, just promoting that on his website. It's heavily in-depth research. Uh, so, you know, I mean, there's just a lot of ignorance from just being spread everywhere by this TED Talks. It's supposed to be an educational channel. It's an antithesis of anti-fucking education channel. Fewer younger working people means less tax revenue. Less tax revenue means less money and resources to go to safety net programs that all of us are going to depend upon. I'm talking about pensions and health care. <laughs> yeah, so exactly what I was just so pensions, so retirement, uh, you know, and, and uh, whatever else. You know, it's just pathetic argument against this. Uh, you know, I mean, bring more slaves. So literally what he is saying right now is bring more slaves into existence to feel pain and anguish and confusion and loss so that you can have a pension fund. Fuck you. Fuck you. Like, there's just no other thing I could possibly tell this idiot, uh, you know, other than all of the things I just said, obviously, and then fuck you. <laughs> you selfish, sugar-coating, fucking megalo, your evil megalo-fucking-mania, uh, deluded, crazy fuck. It seems every generation is indeed connected. But how the heck did we get here in the first place? Well, in some cases, it was intentional. Let's take the DeLorean to simpler times. Let's stop in China, somewhere between the death of disco and Empire Strikes Back, 1980. In 1980, China decided to implement the one-child policy Largely yeah, and it worked. It worked. That worked. It was a policy. It was one thing that can even be conceived of. If there's one thing that even, can even be conceived of as having come from civilization that was less bad, it would be like the one-child policy or the no-child policy is like what should be happening. But, you know, because <laughs> it's going to be so catastrophically worse in the future. But, yeah, I mean, it should be no children regardless. But, you know, since it's going to be so catastrophically worse in the future and you're all so deluded, I mean, this is one thing that a civilization has done that was somewhat reasonable. And you're sitting there and about to make an argument against it being reasonable, against it being causing less pain, uh, against it causing, you know, I mean, that's all it did was cause less pain. Uh, for for the beings that were never born, right? They were per all of the pain and confusion and anguish was prevented for those beings. Uh, you know, causing pain is bad, and preventing pain is good. That's a base axiom for any rational human being. Limiting most parents to having just one kid to combat overpopulation. Check out some good old-fashioned Chinese propaganda. Lovely. Now, fast forward to 2019. Even after ending its one-child policy in 2015. China's birth rates have largely declined. In fact, the falling population in China is remo removing one of its biggest drivers of growth, people. <laughs> Slaves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have sweatshop workers. Yeah, so, like facilities, whole facilities where they literally have to put nets around the facility when it's over like a couple stories high because of all the people that are killing themselves from the insane workloads. That's a fact. And this asshole wants to create more of that. He thinks that that's a good thing, to create more of that. This is the type of person, you people that are saying uh, the case for having kids 
Yeah, this is that's like this is who's fighting for you on the internet. You know, this is like this is the biggest fucking video I've ever seen, making a like with a mo like you know just reasonable title, the case for having kids, a, ca a ca you know claiming to have a case for having kids. It's 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 a fucking joke. You're laughable. You're, I mean, you're sadistically laughable. I mean, look at this. He's, he might as well have a fucking clown nose on and have a big fucking clown smile with a bunch of little sadistic teeth in there and, or something. I mean, he's a fucking sadistic clown. Look at him. If trends continue, China's population is actually going to peak in 2029 before entering, quote, unstoppable decline. China's government is so freaked out right now that it's actually doing new propaganda. It's begging couples to have children for the country. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, yeah. It's because they're insane. They're, they're like, whoa, whoa, wait, we did something reasonable, and now our power is slipping away from us. The, you know, the, the enslaving of the populace is slipping away from us. So now, now they're freaking out. It's not a good thing, so why are you saying it's a good thing? It doesn't, it's not an argument for your fucking position, you asshole. The case for having children. <laughs> oh, just sadistic. You're insane. Fuck you, you sugar-coating, egomaniacal asshole. Let's take the DeLorean and hop over to Japan, home of my beloved Honda Odyssey minivan. Yeah, your beloved hot Oh, that you made the sacrifice for. Yes, you really made the sacrifice uh, for those children to drive a Honda minivan instead of driving a Porsche. And that's the only thing that needs to be made for the case for having ch kids. Yeah, you did a great job because you drive a Honda minivan instead of a Porsche. No. You know, totally ignoring the fact that you put their skin, you put their skin in the game. You put their skin in the game. You caused them to have to toil with pain, with, unless you can name the well-being that is not derived from a pain. And you can't, because they're all derived from pains. They're either mitigating a pain, like I'm trying to do, or they're causing preposterous volumes more pain, like your ignorant bias ass is doing. You know, it's just that's the order in which it goes. I started this video out, I'm telling you. It goes ignorance, then bias, then cruel after. That's what we're watching right now. Japan. To the thunderous applause of the masses is now producing more adult diapers than infant ones. The number of kids in Japan has fallen for the 37th straight year. And unlike other countries, it has not been able to replace its population numbers through immigrant workers. There will be labor shortages and not enough money to fund the safety net programs. Now, Japan has introduced two solutions. First, a financial incentive. Some local governments in Japan have offered couples money to have babies, with the money increasing with each additional... Right, so he's still making the case for this whole, like, have kids because your pension fund uh, <laughs> and welfare benefits uh, will, be, um, will be there when you get older, which is just not true at all. Uh, you know, automation is taking over heavily. Uh, if we have anything, if we, if, we're, if, we, if we can even call ourselves a civilization, there will be... Uh, you know, measures taken to make sure that people uh, in the future live slightly more comfortable lives uh, of, you know, of some kind. Um, you know, you'll vote for policies that have to do with uh, controlling this whole automation thing that's happening as that becomes more and more in, into fruition, as it uh, becomes more understandable, as there's less and less deluded monkeys like the President of the United States right now telling people that, you know, the jobs are going overseas when they're actually just being automated and our production is literally 10 times that of what it was, you know, so many years ago. 
uh, and it has nothing to do with jobs going overseas. The production is here. It's happening. It's just happening in an automated fashion. So again, this deluded idiot just doesn't understand what the fuck is going on, much the same as our fucking president and, and all the deluded idiots that voted for him. A child being born. This actually worked for... And you should be fucking ashamed of yourself, by the way, if you did that. One year in 2014 in this town called Ama, it actually raised the birth rate from... You should, should just... You should be taking into account how fucking stupid your ways of dealing with things have uh, been, you know, and, you know, come into fruition a little bit more, you know, <laughs> the fact that, you know, you don't know what the fuck is going on. About one... And not, I'm not saying that the left people or whatever this guy is are, le are much better, because they're not, but, uh, you know, at least they have the word progressive <laughs> as, like, some kind of value. 0.66 kids per woman to 1.8 but it did not again this is just a, so he's, this guy's just boring as fuck i mean do i really have to go farther into this around this area here he um he makes all these shitty arguments for why having children is okay and then eventually he just uh he, around this point like right at the end of the thing he's like oh and my child has stage four cancer and is dying so he makes all this sugar-coated, megalomaniacal jibber-jabber for 10 minutes, and then, he, and then he says that his child is dying of cancer, of stage 4 cancer, and he just figured that out two days before he was going to do this talk on the case for having children, which is just an insane piece of irony and, uh, and you know, just sort of a, you know, horrible, horrible irony, and I'll be honest with you, I was deeply depressed and saddened when I first heard this, both because this man is so fucking ignorant and stupid, and then simultaneously, you know, the, um, the, the sadness of, you know, obviously, the, the, the creation of, the, you know, the, the fail that comes from his stupidity. Okay, so, anyways, uh, get this guy out of here. Well, we got some, anyways. All right, I guess we'll respond to the chat now. Uh, fucking weird ass. <sighs> that shit comment uh so yeah i mean um i summarized the rest of it so what are we 37 minutes into this we sh we responded to everything this idiot has to say so let's just move on here okay uh, yeah in summary i mean have children so he claims have children so they will uh support the your retirement fund and welfare benefits when you when you're uh crapping yourself when you're too old and uh, two is uh, have children to, you know, provide you with some um, whatever um, validity in an often difficult and absurd life or preposterous life. Uh, and it's not just, but, you know, so again, so we countered the first one completely and utterly, and we countered the second one by just name the well-being. Can you name the well-being? that is not derived from a pain. Uh, obviously, uh, there are no well-beings that, are derived, that aren't derived from pains. Uh, if you don't have pain, there's no motivating mechanism for the being or meaning, if you want to call it that, uh, whatsoever. Uh, you know, all of the problems get prevented if the being just doesn't come into existence in the first place via not being born. Causing pain is bad and preventing pain is good is a fundamental axiom that everyone holds. They just don't hold any logical consistency with it because they're just programmed robots that are uh, going through their lives trying to make money uh, and believing in magical shit and, you know, pounding their monkey chests, uh, you know, because we all come from primates, if you didn't know that. Uh, you know, and they're just sort of, you know, sugar-coated, egomaniacal, uh, crazy people, you know, just arrogantly giving their speeches 
uh, and talking, you know, and talks that are just double down on their egomania as an argument when it's actually just not an argument at all. And you're just a crazy fuckhead and an asshole. And uh, that's all. Okay. All right. So that's good enough. Uh, 40 minutes in. So uh, you all have as, well, I guess we'll read the comment section. Might as well. Um, can I scroll up on this thing? No. Well, let's scroll up over here and read the first one. You saw this crap? Yeah, well, welcome, uh, uh, people. So, well, the first 40 seconds before I kicked in the TV, you kicked in your TV over it? Well, you shouldn't do that, dude. You gotta get a hold of that shit somehow. Uh, Ted is super, vi Ted is super vogue intellectualism. Yeah, it is. I agree. It's bullshit. Uh, hello, people of the internet. Uh, Addiction equals love. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's, you know, going to usually be an addiction of some kind. And, you know, there's less bad addictions and more bad addictions. And love can be a less bad addiction if it's like love of an antinatalist or love of somebody that's, you know, um, a vegan. Oh, you know, do doesn't want to hurt little animals or something as an example, uh, you know, a vegan. Um because everybody else just wants to hurt them. They don't, they don't even understand, or they don't understand what the fuck is going on. Uh, they seem to give TED Talks to anyone nowadays. Yeah, it's, it's you know, anybody that probably furthers their just insipid agenda of whatever the fuck it may be. You know, if it, I don't know. Yeah, it does seem like they... I, I can't see any rational reason for them making this other than, like, they thought it was a good story because uh, it, it had a lot of emotional welling up in it. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, he really is a frivolous kook. I agree with you. Uh, sup, sorry for... Sup, sorry for trolling last time. It's just that I already agree thoroughly with antinatalism, so I had nothing to say. <clears throat> well, there's lots of different types of antinatalism, and this is the most rational argument for antinatalism. The question that's right next to me, okay, that I made. Uh, so, if, uh, you know, this is different than just like most of the shit talkers on here, okay? So, uh, my bad. Let me uh, go light that video up. Yeah, I could do it. Um, you know, I mean, fuck, fuck them up. I mean, it's just argue with argument only. Uh, you know, uh, his entire argument is based on fixing broken uh, good ship lollipop by breeding more workers onto it. Yeah, uh, this video should be called the case for glorified human farming. <laughs> Yeah, ex yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's insanely, that's accurate. Um, trying to fix the world that they broke by uh, fact of their own existence, yeah. Uh, by hauling more victims onto it, yep. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. he just admitted exactly what he is doing. Yeah, we sort of really drove a nail into the coffin of this dude's argument so you know I mean it's, it's no rational argument whatsoever I mean just insidiously vapid cruelty you know just irrational bias insaneness that leads to cruelty uh, and that's exactly what he's exhibiting it's not any sugar coats at all but that's exactly what it is uh, <clears throat> I love the fact that he tries to make it a cheerful predicament, too. Yeah, it's insane. What's up? I doubt it. Uh, uh, reminds me of the moment I became an antinatalist. My grandmother says, I had kids because I needed someone to take care of me when I'm old. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a knee-jerk re reaction, knee-jerk response to the whole scenario that just doesn't have to happen in any rational facet. I mean, obviously, it's still a insanely selfish act to enslave someone to feel pain and anguish and loss and confusion and uh, death. 
uh, and have no well-being that's isolated by itself to speak of that isn't associated with, you know, avoiding a pain of some kind. Um, so it's just masochism, insane, unnecessary masochism. You know, just it's always, you know, because there's all of the problems are 100% prevented if you just aren't born in the first place. So, yeah, for the being that just doesn't get, for the being that doesn't get born, I should be specific. So, uh, predictable imbecile, yeah. Uh, damn, 40 minutes late. Uh, well, watch the whole thing. Uh, there will be a recording of it, as always. Antinatal girl. Uh, Antinatal. Well, your name sucks, dude. I feel good. Therefore, life is good. What do you mean you're just depressed? Um, okay, well, you're just a troll, so we're just going to hide you from the channel. Because you have literally nothing valid to say what so fucking ever I mean we gave you a chance you know what I mean we give you a chance we give everybody a chance here all right and you just fucking squander it because you're an ignoramus fuckhead all you can do is to try to feel powerful is push people's buttons maybe you probably you're a natalist in hidden you know in the shadows and you're to try to feel powerful too, you probably make more people or some shit, you know, because you're a sadistic megalomaniac and an asshole. So get off my fucking channel. All right. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> well, good enough. Uh, uh, we already summarized his views um, and we provided what we said basically. So it's all. That's all it really needs to be said. Yeah, all, all done. Um, all right, you all have as least bad of an afternoon or evening or morning or whatever the fuck it is, wherever you are. And uh, until next time, uh, make sure you hit the like button on this or, you know, in order to promote it uh, so that it goes, it gets into the feet of some of the people that will unfortunately be being misinformed by this, um, you know, educational channel that we're responding to here uh you know and uh um, yeah make sure you hit the bell button on the subs next to my subscriber thing if you're subscribed so that you get notifications uh it seems to like fuck that up even but like it fucks that up less than it than just hitting accent you know just hitting the subscriber button so make sure uh you know you hit the bell button next to it so you get a notification when i go live um and uh okay until next time oh go do it nice that's a good idea okay bye everyone <laughs>